Hello people, small review of the Tacticam. This is the 5.0. I think they came out with a 6.0. I'm not sure what the difference is. It is 4K and uh, right now I'm um, set it up to, for 1080p and 120 frames per second. So you can do some nice slow-mo. I'm hoping the weather is good enough for some bullet trace. Might see it in this one. We'll see. We'll see. Otherwise I have my regular zoom camera that usually shows it. It's fiddly to set up. This is an action camera that you can use to capture the scope. So it has a prism inside of here that's, that splits the image. This, this one will not uh, affect the eye box, so you don't have to fill with the scope. It will require you to set the, 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 the opter settings here, so you can see the reticule. Also the parallax is important to be correct. Otherwise, uh, the target won't be, it will be all mushy. So yeah, it, it's a bit fiddly to set up correctly uh, with everything. And you have, to, here you mount it to the scope and you got a bunch of different uh, like shims. So you can fit all scopes. And then you tighten it up here and then you tighten it here for the tactic cam. And there is a shitload of mounts for this, for bikes, for helmets, for guns, for shotguns, for what, whatever. So it has a lot of usage scenarios. It's not as good as a dedicated solution for just this purpose because those usually have a little focus wheel in and of themselves. So the way I set it up now is it's good for the camera. It's not certain that it's good for my eyes, right? Right. So an example of this is when I set it up and did my long range shooting this summer and use this. It was a, a bit of a fussy picture, but uh, the scope was set up for my eyes because it's a competition. I don't give a shit about this picture. It's good enough so I can compete with it. So I haven't really looked inside of this to see if uh, I can actually see anything through it. And yeah, so the picture would be really good, but the parallax is totally out of whack. The parallax is set to 60 meters and that gives a clear picture. So let's turn this on. Let's see here. It, should, it vibrates when it starts recording and it should flash. Okay, so it should record now. And in the scope, when I'm looking, the targets are a bit fuzzy. So the parallax is obviously wrong. It's 60 meters on the scope. So I set it to 500, which the targets are at. There we go. And now I see the targets much more clear, but I'm guessing the picture on the Tacticam is gonna be messed up. It's gonna be fussy. So yeah, you can check this. You can connect this to your phone with Wi-Fi. That's how we update firmware and shit. And then you can see what the Tacticam is seeing if you want the perfect picture and don't, and don't really care about this. So I'm going to try to film it. Let's shut this off and save battery. Uh, I'm going to try to do, take some shots and do some filming and uh, compare it to a regular zoom camera. Uh, that's much more expensive than this, but still shouldn't be that expensive. Right. Okay. Okay, so let's try this then. YouTube, this is a 10 round magazine. It's super politically correct. I forgot my rear bag. But I guess this will do fine. I forgot what my holdovers are at 500. So I didn't bother to type in the weather report, but 4.4 is what they say, but it's probably a little bit colder than when I zeroed it for that. I have to get my face really close to it because this extends a bit. Also, never store this with a battery in it, the Tacticam, because it will empty out your battery. So just keep them stored separate and then uh, you won't have to charge the entire battery next time. Okay, aiming for... Well, you can see what I'm aiming for, I hope. So it's set to 500, the parallax now, so it's probably a bit fussy for you. Let's try it anyway. Not much wind, so I'm hitting straight on. Well, that's anti-climatic. <laughs> okay, I remember now. 
I think the politically correct magazine was uh, kind of broken. Okay, barely politically correct magazine. Seems to be working better. Okay, let's do this again. Big target, the furthest left. Right, you can see. Well, I can't see where it's splashed, but I'm guessing I'm low. Okay, I think I know my hold. I'm at 5.1 mil and I'm holding a bit outside of left edge. Can't really tell where I'm hitting, but let's go to the stupid setting for the Tacticam so you probably can see a little bit better through that scope. And now it's like I'm blind. Almost useless for me as the shooter. I can't see where what I'm doing. So parallax is important to have set correctly. This rifle does not really have the precision with this ammo that I would like. So, yeah, that's a thing. It's pretty much good enough to hit the very large plate. I'm considering swapping out the barrel for it sooner or later. So this shouldn't be hard to hit. So why did I miss? God damn it. Is this possible? I don't think so, but let's try. No rear bag makes it a bit wobbly. You guys tell me if that was close. I don't know if this is close. It's only 10x magnification. That sounded like a hit. Yeah, it's, I think it's swinging. Can we hit a tiny one? Well, throw enough bullets at it and you'll hit it. Like those extreme long range people who shot like 65 shots to hit a target at insane distance. Yeah, sooner or later you'll get lucky. I cannot see my own splashes. I want to hit. Uh, so let's, uh, let's end on a high note with a hit. <laughs> okay.
So what is my final verdict on the Tacticam? Yeah. Since I'm mainly going to be using this for filming through my scope, uh, I should have probably bought a specific unit for that purpose. Not a Tacticam, there are others that's meant for just that. This is kind of a do-it-all solution. It is an action cam, it's like a cylindrical GoPro or something, but it is useful for what I'm using it for, but it's super fiddly. It's more fiddly than it needs to be. So if this had like a focus ring in front of it or something, or, or you could set focus in the app or something like that, then it would be much better. I don't know how that works. Uh, since they have new versions of this out now, I don't know, I don't know if that works better. The 6.0, I don't know, I haven't checked it out. I'm not gonna buy that, I have this shit now. So I'm gonna have to fiddle with it. I don't know if I can pu push it inward. So I have it set as far in as possible in the holder. And uh, this is the angle of, of the barrel. So I don't know if I can take it out slightly so it, uh, so it will have the correct focus that way. If, if you can fiddle with it back and forwards a bit, but that would be super fiddly. Uh, and also that would only work for one distance when I'm shooting competitions I shoot at like 500 meters then a thousand meters etc so that wouldn't be possible to do at a competition anyway but to be fair you couldn't do that on any other cam either so yeah I don't know if the uh, if it's possible to mess around with it and get it to work properly as you could see in the video it's basically useless for g getting good photography but the videos I got from the long range competition this summer when I used this I'm it's okay for me it's uh, it's cool footage to watch anyway right so I can put it up in the corner of my video and it'll look good but yeah I'm gonna mess with it some more and see if I can get it to work better for me like set it to like 700 meters or where it's in focus at 700 meters or something and see if that has such a big focus band that it would work for most distances when I do long range shooting. Something like that. I don't know. We'll see what I can do. But uh, yeah, for my purposes, don't buy this. If you want to use it for a bunch of different shots, say you're hunting a lot, this would be good for hunting. Or uh, They have variants for fishing. I don't know how that would work. And uh, this camera, you can put it on anything. You can put it on your helmet, your bike, your what not. Yeah. Okay, and one thing I really do enjoy with it is that it has a USB-C connector. All my gadgets are USB-C. I don't want to mess with uh, micro USB or anything shitty like that. So that's a good point. Bad point is it takes like hours and hours and hours to load a battery and get spare batteries. Right, that's my final verdict. Okay. <laughs>